Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies that became popular years after their release. God, Veronica, my afterlife is so boring. If I have to sing Kumbaya one more time. To us? To us. We want to see the wizard, the wonderful wizard of Oz. You are who you choose to be. For this list, we'll be looking at beloved films that didn't perform well on their initial release. Which modern film do you think will become a future cult classic? Let us know in the comments below. Let's go! If you like what you're hearing, be sure to check out the full song at the link below. Number 10. Dazed and Confused This movie's initial lack of popularity certainly leaves us feeling dazed and confused. Say, hey man, you got a joint? Uh, no, not on me, man. <laughs> It'd be a lot cooler if you did. <laughs> Released in the fall of 1993, Dazed and Confused made just $7.9 million. And while it received good reviews, it failed to generate awards buzz. Here comes the story of the hurricane. The mighty authorities came to play. By all accounts, this was just a good teen movie that fell by the mainstream wayside. However, the film saw success through TV and home video. It started to generate some significant critical acclaim in the early 2000s, being named one of the top 50 cult films by Entertainment Weekly and one of the 10 greatest movies ever by Quentin Tarantino. It also helped that many of its then-unknown actors became massive movie stars throughout the 90s and 2000s, including Ben Affleck, Mila Jovovich, and Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Leather, man. <laughs> Number 9. Hocus Pocus Disney had faith in Hocus Pocus, putting nearly $30 million into its production and releasing it in the midst of the summer season, despite the Halloween theme. Fools! All of you! My ungodly book speaks to you on all Hallow's Eve and the moon is around. A virgin will summon us from under the ground. Unfortunately, the movie proved a massive disappointment, opening at number four and spending just two weeks in the top ten. It also earned middling reviews from critics, and by Halloween of 1993, Hocus Pocus was largely forgotten. However, the movie slowly gained a cult following after repeated television airings around the Halloween season, and it quickly became one of the holiday's go-to films. It has also resulted in increased tourism to Salem, Massachusetts, as fans flocked to the city to visit the movie's filming locations. Number 8. Treasure Planet While we're on the subject of Disney movies that bombed, Treasure Planet is oft remembered as one of the company's biggest failures. Don't you get it? I screwed up! I mean, for two seconds, I thought that maybe I could do something right. Serving as a sci-fi iteration of Treasure Island, Treasure Planet was released in the midst of Disney's early 2000s Dark Age. It's the most expensive, traditionally animated film of all time, with a budget of $140 million, yet it grossed a horrible $110 million. Luckily, the movie has since developed a very devout cult following. Oh, yes! Me for a boat! An Academy Award nomination for Best Animated Feature helped legitimize its quality, and the DVD sold exceptionally well, grossing over $60 million in its first three months of release. It's now regarded as one of Disney's strongest and most visually inventive outputs of the 21st century. Five, Number 7. Tron Serving as one of the most influential science fiction films ever made, Tron made enormous leaps in terms of visual effects, combining elements of live action, computer animation, and traditional backlit animation. Busted again. 
Tron was released in the summer of 1982 to middling success, grossing a disappointing $50 million and earning praise for its groundbreaking visuals but criticism for its storyline. Guest of the Master Control Program. Oh, great. They're gonna make you play video games. Hey, no sweat. I play video games better than anybody. Tron became more popular through TV and home video, having grossed nearly $20 million in rentals by 1993. It was also highly spoken of throughout the 1990s with Pixar head John Lasseter calling it a major influence on Toy Story and helped earn Ken Perlin an Academy Award for Technical Achievement in 1997. A sequel, Tron Legacy, was released in 2010. Number 6. Brazil Directed by Terry Gilliam of Monty Python fame, Brazil is a brilliant satire on bureaucracy and corporatism that takes place in a dystopian future. His name's Fuddle. There must be some mistake. Mistake? <laughs> we don't make mistakes. Bloody <laughs> typical. They've gone back to metric without telling us. Many critics have drawn parallels between Brazil and George Orwell's 1984, and some have even called it one of the greatest British movies ever made. Well, yes and no. Officially, only central service operators are supposed to touch the stuff. Would you hold this, please? But nowadays, with all the new rules and regulations, they can't get decent staff anymore. Brazil has also influenced many popular films, including Tim Burton's Batman and The Descent. And while the movie was critically well-received at the time, earning two Oscar nominations, it was certainly not a popular film, grossing just $10 million at the North American box office. It also received some poor word of mouth from prominent American movie critics, including Roger Ebert. Number 5. Heathers this dark comedy was released at the height of the John Hughes era, with the popular writer-director having recently released The Breakfast Club, Pretty in Pink, and Ferris Bueller's Day Off. All cute movies, all starring likable characters. And then Heathers came around to flip the teen genre on its head. Do I look like Mother Teresa? If I did, I probably wouldn't mind talking to the geek squad. Did you see that? Heather number one just looked right at me. While the movie received acclaim from critics, it proved a little too dark for the movie-going public, who were perhaps expecting another Hughes-esque comedy. It grossed a paltry $1 million, proving a bomb against its $3 million budget. What are you talking about, huh? I mean, today was great. Chaos is great. Chaos is what killed the dinosaurs, darling. However, Heathers found success on home video and perhaps more importantly, gave rise to many common phrases. The Oxford English Dictionary credits Heathers with 11 entries, including Righteous and Hang, as in Hang Out. Do you think, I mean, do you really think if Betty Finn's fairy godmother made her cool, she would still hang out with her dweebet friends? <laughs> no way, Veronica. Uh-uh. Number 4. Blade Runner Today, Blade Runner is regarded as one of the greatest sci-fi films ever made. Unfortunately, its initial release was bungled by Warner Brothers, resulting in a less than stellar reception. It's artificial. Of course it is. Must be expensive. Very. I'm Rachel. Deckard. Critics noted its slow pace and lack of action, and it grossed just $27 million domestically. Unfortunately, its financial success was severely hampered by the more family-friendly E.T., which had been released just two weeks earlier. Oh, God! <laughs> Elliot. What? Elliot. I taught him how to talk now. He can talk now. Fortunately, the reception of Blade Runner began to change throughout the 90s. The director's cut was released in 1992, and it was preserved by the National Film Registry the following year. It was also around this time that academics began studying and publishing discourse on Blade Runner, further cementing its status as a legitimately great piece of art. All those moments will be lost in time. Like tears in rain. Number 3. The Wizard of Oz According to the Library of Congress, The Wizard of Oz is the most seen film in history. It's not hard to see why. For one thing, it's over 80 years old. 
for another, it remains incredibly popular to this day, and children are continuously introduced to its cinematic wonders. Toto, I have a feeling we're not in Kansas anymore. However, it was considered a financial disappointment in 1939, grossing just $3 million and losing MGM some significant cash. The movie faded from the public memory, and it wasn't until 1956 that it became the icon it is today. But just try to stay out of my way. Just try. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. It was then that The Wizard of Oz aired its first television broadcast, and it received significant viewership. The movie earned popularity through subsequent airings, and it soon became a national phenomenon. The great Oz has spoken. Oh, pay no attention to that man behind the curtain. Number two, It's a Wonderful Life. This is another classic that owes its popularity to TV. What is it you want, Mary? What do you want? You, you want the moon? Just say the word and I'll throw a lasso around it and pull it down. The movie was a financial disaster for RKO, grossing just over $3 million throughout 1947. Unfortunately, the break-even point was placed at $6 million, making It's a Wonderful Life a certified bomb. I'm not a praying man, but if you're up there and you can hear me, show me the way. And while the movie earned five Oscar nominations, it was quickly forgotten by the general public. That is, until a clerical error placed the movie's images in the public domain in 1974. TV stations snagged the movie owing to its lapsed copyright, and it became an annual Christmas favorite throughout the late 70s and 80s. The movie's viewing remains an annual tradition for many, and it's now regarded as one of the greatest films of all time. That's right. That's right. Attaboy, Clarence. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Clue. Performed poorly, but later found success through home video and TV. The only way to avoid finding yourselves on the front pages is for one of you to kill Wadsworth. Now. Children of Men. Box office bomb that later found respect for its inventive filmmaking. You put their lives at risk. Just let it go. You don't know what you're doing. No. Look around you. It's the uprising. Starship Troopers. Initially received poor reviews, but has undergone a critical reevaluation. Young people from all over the globe are joining up to fight for the future. I'm doing my part. I'm doing my part. The Iron Giant. Horrible box office bomb, grossing just $31 million on a $50 million budget. That's right! Well, my own giant robot, I am now the luckiest kid in America. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Citizen Kane Arguably the most influential film ever made, Citizen Kane has been widely praised for its epic story and inventive filmmaking techniques. I am the publisher of the Inquirer. As such, it's my duty and I'll let you in on a little secret. It's also my pleasure to see to it that decent, hard-working people in this community aren't robbed blind by a pack of money-mad pirates. Credited to Orson Welles, who was given full creative control by RKO, Citizen Kane received nine Oscar nominations but proved a disappointment at the box office, losing RKO upwards of 160000 Wells' reputation was tarnished and Citizen Kane quickly faded from the public's memory. However, its status began to change in the mid-50s owing to repeated television airings, a theatrical re-release, and a particularly influential essay from film critic Andrew Saris, who single-handedly altered the film's artistic reputation. That I'll do everything in my power to protect the underprivileged, the underpaid, and the underfed. Mother, is Pop Governor yet? Not yet, Junior. He famously called it the Great American Film, and it has been regarded as such ever since. Do you agree with our picks? Let us know in the comments. And hey, if you're a fan of the song playing right now, be sure to check out the music video for it right here.